And we've got Henning Fopel with us from the Hamburg Institute of International Economics. Mr. Fopel, would you also describe Turkey as a dependable business partner? Yeah, I would do so, because Turkey is still, from a strategic point, very important and interesting economy. And uh, Turkey is well integrated into global su cross-border supply chains. So Turkey is important, and that's why capital is still there. Why the knee-jerk reaction, though? Money being pulled out all of a sudden, and then uh, a month later being reinvested? Yeah, so capital is, is the most mobile factor of production, much more mobile than, than labor. So that's why financial markets are a good predictor or indicator for the political and economic situation in the economy. So that's why there was a, was a withdrawal of capital and now we have a reversal back capital back to, back to Turkey. Now, I'm not calling Turkey a dictatorship, but uh, it, it has a, a very different setup to many democratic countries. What, what does it mean for investors? Uh, a, a democracy, is a democracy a safer place to do business because it's a, a, a looser place politically, I guess? Or, or, or is a near dictatorship or a dictatorship uh, a safer place? Actually, it's, it's stability that matters for, for investors to, to decide where to place investments or portfolio investments. We have to distinguish between portfolio investments, short-term capital and long-term capital, FDI, foreign direct investments, so different kind of reasons to, to go into a country. And uh, we see all over the world that especially for emerging uh, market economies, uh, the withdrawal, the um, yeah, uh, to go out of out of a country makes countries very vulnerable mm -hmm. towards uh, political and economic shocks. What about the lira? It fell by seven percent after the coup attempt. If you compare that to the Brexit, uh, the pound fell a lot more than that. What, what does that tell us? I think the Brexit is a more paradigm or change in th there's a lot of or huge uncertainty coming along with the Brexit and nobody knows how the future will be like and uh, that's why uh, there was a kind of, um, yeah, you can say currency crisis, a kind of hurting behaviour, so be the first out of the market. So all up, would you say that money has no conscience? Yeah, I would say so. And uh, we, we live in a world, or we have a world economy with a lot of crisis and it's in, it's in disorder. It's a feeling like the world is in disorder and that's, uh, then the question comes up, where is your capital, your investment safe and uh, you, you're looking for stability rather than for democracy or freedom? Well, stability isn't something that Europe can offer at the moment. There, it's one crisis after the next, even terror attacks. Um, what makes investors keep coming back to Europe then? Well, there was a disappointment uh, given the high expectations uh, with regard to emerging market economies. Now we have uh, a situation where capital is going back to, to the more developed economies like the US, like, like Europe, where um, the, the conditions, the circumstances are more stable and that's why we have a we have a, um, yeah, uh, capital back from the emerging market economies back to, back to the more developed economies. Thank you, Fopo. Thank you very much for coming in today. Welcome.